this steady drumbeat of recycle, recycle, recycle has created a culture um, that's really sucked a lot of the oxygen out of the room. There are very real benefits to recycling, but sometimes those benefits have been overhyped. To avoid the worst effects of climate change, and by this I mean the potential extinction of half of all species on the planet, the deaths of a million people or more, the permanent displacement of tens of millions of people from their homes, in order to avoid those kinds of consequences, we need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions in this country by around 90%. Total recycling and composting will reduce emissions by 3%. So as a climate change strategy, recycling is helpful and it is entirely insufficient. It gets us nowhere close to the reduction of impacts that we need. So the approach we've taken here in Oregon is a very holistic approach and a very science-based approach. It counts up the environmental impacts across all the stages of that life cycle and then identifies where in the life cycle can we act to achieve the greatest benefits for the environment. You go to the store, you buy something, you bring it home. All of the activities that were necessary to produce that material, to package it, to produce the packaging, the supply chain, transporting it to the retailer, all of those activities we call upstream. They occur prior to you using it. And then when you no longer want the material and you discard it, it either goes to recycling or it goes to composting, maybe it goes to a landfill or a waste incinerator. Those impacts are downstream. Here in Oregon, 99% of the greenhouse gas emissions occur upstream of the consumer and only 1% occurs downstream. Let's say you're standing in the grocery store and you're buying some instant coffee, and the coffee is packaged in a couple different formats. There's this thing here, which is a plastic tub. In many communities in the United States, this plastic container could be placed in your recycling container. Alternatively, you could buy your coffee in a steel container. This steel container is really easy to recycle. And then there's this newfangled package over here, some kind of metal plastic laminate. And there's no program anywhere in the country that wants this in the recycling container. This has to go in the garbage can. And you might say to yourself, oh, I don't want to buy this because it's going to make garbage. But when we go out and we quantify how much energy is required to produce each of these different formats, how much pollution results from producing these materials, that this thin, flexible material ends up being the best environmental choice so long as it goes in the landfill. A lot of consumers are making their choices based on whether or not something is easy to recycle, and that is not a meaningful predictor of environmental impact. It's pretty random. It's about as useful as tossing a coin or consulting a Ouija board. Recycling is a very visible way of demonstrating that we're responsible people and we're trying to do good for the environment. Don't get me wrong, we, we need more recycling and we need better recycling. It's just that recycling by itself is an insufficient solution. Lots of people know that mantra, reduce, reuse, recycle, but what some people forget is that that's a ranked priority of solutions. We should reduce and reuse first because environmentally they deliver a much greater bang for the buck. There's a lot we can do as individuals to use materials more responsibly from the food that we choose to purchase and eat, the houses or the housing that we live in, the stuff that we buy or that we don't buy. In a democratic country such as our own, individuals can flex not only their consumer muscle, they can flex their muscles as citizens and advocates as well. They can communicate to the companies they buy from that they expect them to reduce the environmental impacts of materials. And they can work through the political process to drive at the sorts of collective changes that are needed to reduce the environmental impacts of materials. Music